No, Molly was his student, yeah, just lab assistant, student. like you two for me. If the, if there is a Nobel Prize, I will win, and you two are just gonna be. Crazy. If there is a Nobel Prize for you, <laughs> we, why, we have, why why would they give you a Nobel Prize? There's better chances of Michael Jackson coming back to life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then no, 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 winning no, no, the Nobel Prize. Michael Jackson coming to life <laughs> okay. is actually a little bit more likely. Uh, it's about the same level as Michael Jackson coming back to life and the day after overdosing again and dying. <laughs> That's All the right, level okay. you're getting. Thanks from Brown University. Here is Shivana and Apurva. We're going to have some physics discussion. Let's just start with light. What is light? Light is an electromagnetic wave. What is light? Uh, light is a magnetoelectric wave. Uh, I, what he said. I would say that light what is said. a dancing of electric field and magnetic field in a vacuum or, uh, or in the medium and it more, moves with velocity b. More precisely, the Maxwell is, equations tell us that an electric field will generate a, a magnetic field and a changing magnetic field is in response going to generate a slightly smaller electric field and that chain reaction happens over and over and begins to generate what we call an electromagnetic wave, also known as light. Who is, who is dances? Who is dances with velocity b, uh, which is uh, c over n, and if it is, if n is bigger than one, mm -hmm. then of course the speed of light is not three times like, ten. Is n is eight. always bigger than one, except for in a vacuum. Uh, well, vacuum is uh, one, but uh, in the year is one point zero 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 eight, which is one. Anyway, the light does not have mass, mm -hmm. and light does not have what? Light does not have. Well, wait, no. It, have, <laughs> it does have. <laughs> that is trying to trick you, I think. It does not have mass, and what it does not have. Well, okay, what else? Okay. It does not have a length or width or height. Okay, no, so, I mean, I mean the, 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 so light. Okay, so light doesn't have. So light doesn't have mass. So if light doesn't have mass, uh, then uh, can we use F equal m a for light? No. Then what we have to use? We have to use. Uh, oh, by the way, light is made HF. of light. Is, light is made of what? What? Sir Isaac Newton. Uh, he uh, thought it hypo was. Hypothesis. He thought it was made of small. Hypothesis. He thought it was made of small little discrete bits. That's right. Particles. Corpuscles. Corpuscle, which is uh, the corpuscles. Corpuscle, which is particle. Now, who was the first person? Who was the first person? Who said otherwise? I don't do history Maxwell. of science. I only no, not Maxwell. Science. Not Maxwell. Was it like not Maxwell? Morley? Not not Michelson Morley. It was Huygens. It was oh. Huygens. Oh yeah, because Wait. he looked at the the phases of, of Jupiter? Jupiter's moon. Yeah, so Huygens. He that light what took a what was his time. first name? Christian Huygens. Christian Huygens from the same country. Oh yeah, everyone thought the light traveled instantly, right? And then who 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 put it test? There are two hypotheses. One said uh, yeah. it made of particle. One said it made up wave. wave. Who put it in the test? Michelson Morley. Not Michelson Morley. No, it was I Thomas know. Young. It was Thomas oh. Young, 1801, 1801, oh, and he yeah. did double, double slit. slit and then, you know, a double slit. Everyone thought it was a wave from the interference pattern. That's a double slit made who look good? Uh, the the Christian Huygens. Christian Huygens, right, absolutely. So for the next 100 years, whose theory was Probably accepted, prevailed? Wave. wave. Now, who used the wave theory of light to help us understand what light is and 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 to give us a speed of light maxwell maxwell but maxwell what maxwell got wrong is maxwell use ether really? maxwell use ether yeah maxwell use ether yeah and maxwell maxwell thought as sound uses the air to move the light uses Bro, ether to move you study electromagnetism how do you not know this no, okay. no, i studied the lack of electromagnetism okay all right no 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 let's let's we are moving forward all I'm the way to deep. We are moving forward all the way to De Broglie or Broglie Zero, or uh, De Brawl. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So come back. Okay. All right. So where are we now? We are now talking about we are now talking about Maxwell uh, misconception. Okay, and Maxwell misconception was what? There's an that ether. ether. Right now who 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 proved it wrong? Michelson Morley. What oh, year? Look up. What year Michelson Morley uh, uh, proved it wrong? 18, 18, no, no, no. 1887. 1887, and he won the Nobel. Oh wait, no, that was. No, 1887. And he won the. And he won the Nobel Prize. What year? Michael, 1901. 1901. No, no, 1903. He was the first American to win the Nobel, to win the Nobel, Nobel Prize. Prize. So he won the Nobel Prize 1903. Let's come. Uh, uh, let's let's come uh, closer. Oh, Molly was his student, yeah, just lab assistant, like you two for me. 
if uh, if there is a Nobel Prize, I will win, and you just are gonna be. Crazy. If there is a Nobel Prize for you, <laughs> we, well, we, why why would they give you a Nobel Prize? There's better chances of Michael Jackson coming back to life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then no, 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 Nobel Prize. Michael Jackson coming to life <laughs> is actually a little bit more likely. Uh, it's about the same level as Michael Jackson coming back to life and the day after overdosing again and dying. <laughs> <laughs> That's the oh, level okay. of you getting it. Why did you know, write that? Like this, because this he what? wasn't able to explain what? Uh, the, the, body the, yeah, uh, the ultraviolet the catastrophe. Ultraviolet. Yes. And he wasn't able to explain anything using light as a continuous. So then he, Using light as a continuum? Yeah, continuum. Oh, okay. okay. So he had to do something. Uh, he did not believe. And what was what that? Light. How did he come up with HF of all? By these? doing, he was a mad guy. He was a big mad guy. Where did he come up with H? He was like walking, sleeping with those that thinking. No, but where did he and come one, up with H? Uh, well, oh, uh, I know. Um, H is just a constant. H is a very small number. Uh, so he just picked a random, no, no. really small number it's because he had the data. He from had the, the data experiment. from he the was experiment. Fit the data and he chose the right number. That yeah, that works. Interesting. That works. Data but he data. wasn't able to explain. I wonder it. how they measured the momentum of particles right. when they didn't think. Oh, uh, particles they they had, they had a little uh, gene skewed. They had a little box. The box had a little hole, mm. and they he heated up the box to a high temperature, and then they looked at how much heat is coming out of the box. Interesting. And then they plot it as a function of frequency. Oh. And you get the energy density as so, a of frequency. So he wasn't able to explain his own equation e equal to HF. Then who explained it for him? Einstein. How? Good question. By saying that light is quantized. By, so by, by photoelectric effect. So how does photoelectric effect work? The photoelectric effect is just conservation of energy. Conservation of energy. Okay, you I have a metal. metal. Well, yeah, but I think it's a very specific case of the conservation of energy. No. Where one type of energy no, invariably no. gets converted into another under yeah. specific conditions. Yeah, okay. So that has a metal. Let's imagine this. So a metal, metal and you have a light. Put, put, put the, put the, put yes, the photon. photon. Okay, so photon. Okay, so the electrons in the metal. No, photon is made of what? No, no light what? is made no, of No, photon is made of what? What? Photon does not have mass, but photon, oh, photon is good. what? Light is made of what now? Oh, a photon. Okay, so one photon is what? One HF. A, uh, one HF. One so HF, next yeah. time you see the sunlight, you're going to say one HF, two HF, three HF, until someone take you hospital for mental problem. Okay, so... <laughs> hey, no one's going to watch it. That's true. Yeah. Okay, so the photon is another way of saying photon is what? Uh, HF, right? Mm -hmm. So one HF, two HF, three HF, or so on. Sure. So is heating the metal. Mm -hmm. And knock electron loops, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So how that proved that light is made of particle? What? How that photon coming, hitting the uh, metal, knock, well, knocking electron loose, and electron well, moves with velocity b. Okay, that? because of because uh, it's good. conservation of momentum. How well, waves supposed well, to do that well, without saying it? Okay, okay, can you okay, prove can that? Can you let him explain? Yeah. So the weird thing about the photoelectric effect is. If you make the light more bright, it doesn't release more electrons. Uh, yes, or if you make it red light, so frequency, it Even has to be have right frequency. You have to change frequency. the color. Right frequency. You have okay. to change the color. So that means the energy of light somehow depends on its frequency. Always. Oh, and that's how we came up with HF? That's right. That's always. Right. Energy always. That's how we came yeah. up with Energy he, always He just started on. by assuming, oh, it's got to be linear. Uh, no, he's just started with like the onset of sure, let's try a linear one, and then it somehow fit perfectly. No, that feels like a troll. It, that's it why when, when they refracted, uh, that's why when light refracted, yeah, okay, it changes the wavelength, but it doesn't change the frequency. So when the light goes from air to water, the yeah. color remains same. Red right. light from uh, the air to water, the color is same. Right. If you put a pencil in a glass of water, the pencil the is the yellow pencil change. is yellow. Yeah. Yeah, yellow pencil is yellow. So because the frequency never changes, but we really blend. nice if we could talk about absorbency and, and like, you know. All right, now, mixing. now, okay, now what is light? Now it is the year nineteen oh five. No, let's let's go back. Heard of like Beer's law? No, let's go back to the light. Um, so now the year is nineteen oh five. Einstein just published photoelectric effect. The whole world accepted light as particle. Newton back to business. Okay, easy. No. Why not? Because, because now Schrodinger, 
Schrodinger comes later. Or De Broglie. Uh, no, De Broglie no, no. comes later. Uh, Niels Bohr. Niels okay. Bohr wanted to do that uh, that uh, double slit experiment again. Now with the observer. Now he yeah, said that, okay. yeah, let's see what happened if you put the observer. What happened when you put the observer? Doesn't it become a quanti uh, like a discretized particle? That's right. Okay, now, so now then Schrodinger gave the equation that Bohr failed to do. Bohr was big mouth, but what was not uh, like, I don't want to insult anybody. Uh, but Schrodinger was... You just called him a big mouth. Did I? No, I didn't. I, I'm going to edit that part of the video. Okay. I don't want to insult anyone. What are your thoughts on Leibniz? Leibniz was... was uh, not real. Li oh, I erased Li him from Li the book. Li <laughs> no, no. Leibniz was good, he, but he was a thief. He, okay, he okay. stole... Uh, Newton wrote him uh, a letter mm -hmm. telling him that I have been thinking about a new branch of math called calculus. You didn't never wrote him any letters. And, and, and Leibniz... Yeah, he did. Not during Newton the development a, of calculus. Newton had a correspondence. Yeah, he had a correspondence after he figured out Leibniz and him were working on. If you think thing. Leibniz invented calculus, you are a fool. I what? just don't okay. believe in. You Leibniz. are you are influenced by Bernoulli's brother. Okay, <laughs> he is like a Bernoulli's brother, guy. Okay. All but right. we still use Leibniz notation today. All right, now right? let's go to De Broglie. I it, also I still use the Leibniz rule for differentiation. Oh, no, why are you changing the subject? Nobody talked about Leibniz. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. Rest, yeah. rest in peace, Leibniz. You know, nobody care and nobody want to give you a credit anyway because yeah, you didn't do anything. Rest in peace, Newton. Yeah. You did not do anything. Nobody cares. <laughs> He's just saying that. The brownie. The Brown University existed because Newton. Burning down there. No, I just kidding. The, the university, Brown University existed because Newton. I mean, otherwise they would be teaching only uh, his study of art and his study of only God knows what. What? You you uh, think math wouldn't exist without Newton? Uh, well, uh, well it, it would not be as glow, glorified subject as it is today. I can you tell think, you that much. Without calculus, math is... You think if Newton yeah. didn't exist, calculus yeah, yeah. would die? Oh, wait, wait, uh, wait, okay. wait, wait, let's wait, go. we're changing let's go. Let's the go. No, let's finish the, finish the conversation with De Broglie. Okay, okay. Yeah. so how and De Broglie, else, yeah, so it. how De Broglie, how De Broglie changes everything? I don't know. Oh, so I De Broglie say. said, if the... Everything is a wave. No, De Broglie said, if everything the... Everything can be described by a wave If the function? photon, if the photon can, if the photon, which is light, yeah. which used to be wave, now mm -hmm. can be particle. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Is it really a particle? Or then a wave? wave can be particle and particle can be wave. What, what is uh, it a wave particle particle duality? duality. Yeah, yeah. And he said, what is the de Broglie's uh, hypothesis? Where de Broglie wavelength is? H over what? P. P. Yeah. Mm -hmm. H over P. But he did, so, and there was an experiment that confirmed he was right just two years later. It was so is the, it like a solution to the Schrodinger equation? or No. Uh, Lu, uh, what was his name? The de Bragg? Um, de Bragg. I hear Mark. No. De Broglie, but there was a the Bragg father and son. They proved that De Broglie was right. De Broglie was right. Okay. By doing uh, yeah. experiments on crystal. But but Einstein knew all along that De Broglie was right. Yeah, I, Einstein, was it was Einstein who said okay he's he got yeah, that right yeah. because yeah. it was. Yeah, we all know Einstein just knew everything way in advance. It, it was it was in Einstein head. It was going to come out any time, but. Jim <laughs> Roy was the one who put it on the paper. You're saying it's like a Newton Leibniz situation? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, if you are Einstein level, you know. So well, then why do we give credit I know what to it feel like, feels like. I know what it feels like. I know what it feels like. Okay, come you on. can't even speak. <laughs> 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 what do you mean? I know how it feels to be on Einstein level. English was like Einstein's fourth language. When you, hang out, spoke it better when, you. when you hang out with me, you forget English. That's the problem. Okay, so I can't consult your English, but you can insult your English. I smell double standard. Uh, well. But, wait, do we have something else to get this to? This is not double standard. This is called self-criticism. Are you changing the topic? No. Okay, so light. Uh, can you summarize what light is? After yeah. all, after going from all the way Sir Isaac Newton to Dubai. Okay, so light flip-flop from being a particle to a wave, particle to wave, particle to wave. It started with Newton uh, saying that light was made of particles called corpuscles. And then after Newton, uh, Christian Huygens used the moons of Jupiter to show that light travels at a finite speed. So it has same. to be a wave. And same countryman, Thomas Young. And then Thomas Young did the double slit experiment in 1801 showing that light has interference patterns, so it must be a wave. But then in 1865, Maxwell showed that light travels at the speed of well, light, and it has to be a wave. Interesting.
Um, and then the, the Alvarsson, um, Michael Sermulli killed the killed the ether for right, good. Yeah, yeah idea yeah. of ether actually invented by. Um, I heard it was invented by. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to be wrong, so I'm not going to tell oh, you. Oh, by Raleigh. No, by Sir Isaac Newton. I don't want to be wrong, so. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh okay. yeah, you don't okay, want to so be wrong when it, uh, you want to be wrong when it comes to law. This it, you don't care if you're right or wrong in saying he plagiarized because you just hate him. Well, but I don't want to be wrong, so I'm not going to say I anything about is... my glorious Lord Sir Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac. Is, is his family like paying you or something? No, so uh, can you this generous? Can you can you create the universe um, by using a figure How much money? Is the Sir Isaac Newton estate giving you to be this generous? Who is bigger, God or Afikol Ame? <laughs> what? I mean, Afikol Ame is God. Is he? No, easy. Like, Afikol Ame is the easy answer. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's true. Yeah, Afikol Ame is easy to come up with. I would have come up with it when I was 12. Forget 21. <laughs> All right, so, okay. So, signing off from Brown University, everybody. Um, all right, next time.